So today guys I bring you 10 more Cyberpunk 2077 facts you should know. If you missed my previous episodes check out the playlist linked below. How's it going guys my name is DPG and if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe. Also guys I'm giving copies away of Cyberpunk to be with a chance of winning one drop a like on this video and leave a comment down below. So 10 facts about Cyberpunk. Let's go. So did you know fast travel spots are a thing and used to well fast travel about the map of Night City and even the Badlands. These can be found all over Night City and are unlocked via you locating them. Once located you can travel between them whenever you wanna. Also to add there are no loading times between them. Incredible. Also guys did you know there are vigilante missions? You can scan an NPC to see if they have a warrant on them or hack into the NCPD database to see who has warrants and bounties. And then you can go searching for said individuals and cash in on these rewards people. Also guys did you know there are 12 plus radio stations you can listen to while driving around Night City including the following Ritual FM, Vexostrum Radio, Night City FM, The Dirge, Radio Pebcac, Pacific Dreams, Moro Rock Radio and Body Heat Nation. Also did you know the Badlands is a fully explorable part of the game, it's not just a prologue area. And I'm adding this into this list because I've had so many questions about this, it's unbelievable. I mean I thought everybody knew the Badlands was a fully explorable part of the game, but it seems as though not everybody does know. We know if we pick the nomad life path you start within the Badlands. And this is where I'm guessing people are getting it from. But no, the Badlands is fully explorable people. Also did you know the length of the story depends on your origin, side quests, characters you side with, your story choices and preferred play style. Because as we know you can play this game how you want, you can go through the entire thing without killing anybody. And also with the many many dialogue options and story changes you can do, characters you can side with, characters you can go against, side missions and so much more. I mean this story can take you pretty long, it's completely up to the way you play the game. Also did you know you can summon your vehicle to you? Anywhere. If you have multiple vehicles in your garage you can select which one you want and it will self drive to your location. Obviously you can't do this at the top of any buildings but anywhere within the Badlands, anywhere within Night City, any of the 6 districts you can call upon your car and it will drive to you. How epic. Did you also know quite often Lee you could be minding your own business driving through any of the 6 districts and you'll see full blown shootouts between gangs and the NCPDs. Because like I mentioned in my last top 10 facts about Cyberpunk 2077, it is said as though the world is going on around you and you ain't the centre of the universe. It's actually like life is going on. And like I also mentioned in my previous video, of 1000 NPCs also live by daily routines. It's absolutely crazy people. The city of Night City, the world of Cyberpunk 2077 will be like nothing we've experienced before. Also did you know there are stashes of loot in the world that will occasionally pop up on that world map. So you want to be keeping an eye out for that people. So if you're driving around Night City and you see a little ping on that map and it's a loot stash you better go and get that thing because you just don't know what it will behold. And this is what I like about the RPG side of this game, it's going to be incredible. Also did you know you can get weapon mods and attachments by purchasing them, finding them out in the world like I said from these stashes maybe, crafting them and by looting them from downed enemies. And also guys to end the video you can also do this with weapons. So you can take out enemies, you can take out NPCs in some scenarios and in these instances you'll get a special weapon, a lot of times specific to that said NPC. But yes you can take down enemies, you can loot their bodies, you can get those weapons, you can get those mods, you can get those attachments and much much more guys. But yes those are 10 things I feel you need to know about Cyberpunk 2077. If you guys enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe. I have plenty of more facts to bring you guys. And like I said at the start of my first episode, this is more so for the people that are kind of new to Cyberpunk or don't know absolutely everything about it and want to learn a bit more about it before they purchase and play the game. That's the audience these videos are for. 
But I do hope you enjoyed it and hopefully guys, I will see you on that next one.